Many young people are entering the workforce for the first time in dealing with imposter syndrome and feeling as though they don't belong. Since you often speak on imposter syndrome, what advice do you have for anyone dealing with these internal feelings in a professional environment? Yes. Yeah, so I think imposter syndrome, it's an actual real syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's the feelings about, I, I feel like a fraud. I feel like I, I, I'm faking it. I feel like I should know what I'm doing and I really don't. I feel like I don't deserve to be here. All of those, I would just say are pretty normal inner critic thoughts. And so it's our saboteur. It's our inner voice that is like, what do you think you're doing? Right. And, you know, I've written my first two books were about coaching and then mastering your inner critic. I really think this is a moment where we have to push pause and take that space between what we think and feel and what we say and do. And so my strongest advice to people is like, you know, that inner critic, she or he or they, they're not going away, right? They're, they're right there to tell you all the ways that you don't deserve, should have, shouldn't have, supposed to, all of it, right? My advice is that we really need to double down on sort of the muscle building that is our inner champion. Not so that we can go in sort of arrogant or with hubris that we're better than others, or certainly not in a way that, that makes us smaller or elevates others, but in a, in, a, in a meeting people in a way where I have value to add, no matter where I am on my journey of maturation, of professional maturity, and you have value to add. So I got something to learn from you and you have something to learn from me. That's how I enter every conversation. And then the moments where I feel like that imposter rising, like who am I to, you know, she needs to sit down and then it's like, hey, you're here, make the most of the moment. And so it's this inner confidence of it's humil it's intellectual humility combined with the confidence to say, there's no reason I should know how to do this because I've never done it before and I need help. Right. So, so Boy. that's the inner work, Drew, that I think we still just need to do. And it's been a lot of my life's work. And it's about a return to respect, a return to respect for yourself and a turn to respect for another person as a human being. We all work with resources who are the wrong resource for the job. I'm talking about honoring the human being in the process. So I see you and you're enough. I see me and I'm enough. And together, let's figure out how to get this done.